Well, good morning and happy Monday, friends and followers. My name is Kristen Kaufman. For those of y'all whom I've not had the pleasure of meeting, I mean, you have joined us every Monday morning. We come together with a session I call Have a Seat with Kristen. And I share just a couple of perspectives that I think might help all of us as we embark on a new week. So I'm delighted that you're here. We had a horrible storm in Dallas last night. I was afraid I wasn't even going to be able to be on because of the power outage, but miraculously the power came back on and here I am. Um, so I'm going to start off today. We're going to talk about uh, five shifts that can help us move forward because I don't know about you, but the COVID-19 has really taken um, a toll, I think on a lot of us, our spirits, our businesses, um, our livelihoods, our, our social connections. It's just been hard. We're all very resilient people and I know we're doing everything we can to stay focused and to keep centered but nevertheless, it can be kind of hard and sometimes we can lose the plot, so to speak, because we're just trying to stay afloat, much less swim. <laughs> um, we're just trying to stay afloat. So today I thought it might be helpful for all of us um, to kind of revisit some shifts that I think we can make in our mind, because I do believe it's all a mindset game. Everything we do is a mindset game. I learned that from my mom and my dad. They always taught us that life is an attitude and <clears throat> the attitude is clearly the mindset. So with that, I want to get started. And um, if you would like a copy of these points that I'm going to make today and also a little worksheet that you can apply it to yourself, just simply type shift, S-H-I-F-T or shifts in the comment section below and I'll be sure to send it directly to your Facebook message. So again, if you're just joining, my name is Kristen Kaufman and you've joined us with Have a Seat with Kristen. So the first thing that I want to start off with, and this is a, um, a piece of wisdom that my mother reared my sister Gretchen and I with, and that is this. Everything that we go through, every experience that we have is preparing us for what is to come. And there's something comforting about that because um, a lot of times we, we don't necessarily ask why is this happening to us, but we do kind of wonder what is the purpose of me facing this horrible challenge or this road bump in my career or a setback? Um, I didn't get the promotion I wanted or I didn't get the raise that I wanted or I didn't get the clients that I wanted. And we often wonder, hi, Gabriella, we often wonder what is the purpose for that? And what I can assure you of just as a blanket comment for the comments today is every single thing that we experience, good and bad, constructive and purposeful is preparing us for what is to come. So let's move right into shift number one. Shift number one is we need to be intentional about our life and our career. We have to be intentional. We need to cast our vision of where we want to go in our life and our career. And um, I'm actually going to be teaching an online course here in a couple of weeks. I'll be sure to let y'all know about it. Um, that is all about um, you know, recognizing our personal manifesto and building the life that we want. It simply does not happen by accident. We set our intention. I'll tell you, when I left corporate America, uh, gosh, um, over 15 years ago now, um, and I had a fabulous career in corporate America and loved every minute of it. But at one point I woke up, I think y'all have heard that story before, in the Sofitel Hotel in Minnetonka, and I just knew it was no longer working for me. And uh, but I didn't know what I wanted to do. And my coach, I hired a coach, said to me, Kristen, I want you to write a letter to people that you love and cherish. Um, and I want you to write it as if it's one year from today. So I chose to write a letter to my mom and dad because, of course, they, along with my sister, are the most important people in my life. And so I wrote a letter to my mother and daddy. And this has been literally 16 years ago that went something like, dear mom and dad, I can't believe a year ago I had left corporate America and I had no clue what I wanted to do. And here I am today. And then I described my perfect life. And lo and behold, if I'm not living that now. So what I'm sharing with you is if we're intentional about what we want and what we want to create in our life, we will absolutely unquestionably manifest that. So that's the first shift. We have to be intentional and we have to cast our vision. And the more specific we can be about what we want to experience on a daily and a, a moment by moment basis, the better, because the universe is unquestionably listening to us. OK, that's shift number one. Shift number two, identify your limiting beliefs, <clears throat> identify them. I call that looking the tiger in the eye. 
And then we have to rewire our brains. So I'll give you an example. My limiting belief when I left corporate America was there was no way that I could make the money I wanted to make doing what I really, really, really love to do. And that was writing and helping people and all the things that I'm doing now. And my coach pushed me and said, where's that coming from? And of course, I'll tell you where it came from. It came from years, 35 years of people in corporate America saying that the only way that you can make money and be successful is to climb that corporate ladder and reach the pinnacle, which would be what I was. I was a senior vice president. And and I had that wired in my brain that that was the only way that I could do it, that there was no way that I could do what I really, really, really wanted to do as an entrepreneur and be successful. So I had to rewire it. And my coach was very instrumental in helping me do that. You know, writing the affirmations, you know, writing the, the manifesto, the letter to my mom and dad, all of those things crystallized what it was I really wanted to do and made it attainable, made it attainable. So that's shift number two. Look your limiting beliefs, whatever it is that's in your head, and then rewire it. We have to do that in order for us to move forward. Okay, shift number three, new daily habits. And I'm sure y'all may remember several weeks ago, I highlighted a book called Atomic Habits. And if you've not ever read or don't have that book, Atomic Habits, it's a must read. It will have you shifting the little baby things in your life, which ultimately shift the big things in your life. So, I will be honest, since COVID-19, my daily habits have been horrible to, in a word, I lost the plot as far as going to yoga every day. I always went to yoga every new, every day at noon, and I haven't really been doing that. So I, I have to drink my own Kool-Aid here. I've got to start with some new daily habits because my old daily habits aren't working, aren't, they just simply aren't possible right now with where we are. So let me give you a couple of ones that I started about three months ago. And I, I actually, three of them um, I've, I've done for years. So they're not really new daily habits, but I have a new consciousness about them. So one of them is I start off every day with centering prayer. And if you don't know what centering prayer is, Thomas Keating, you can Google him. He's a marvelous monk. And he, it's sort of a cross between prayer and meditation. And um, it's a, Wonderful practice. I started it literally back in the 80s. And every day I do that. It takes just a few minutes. I don't do it for an hour or anything. I just do it or first thing in the morning is before I start my day. Um, I drink literally a gallon of water. I'm not being facetious, a gallon of water every day. I still do that. I drink six bottles, five to six bottles of Mountain Valley water from my hometown in Hot Springs, Arkansas every single day. And I love that I can do it in those bottles because I know that when I've reached five or six, I've, re I've reached my goal. But I do think staying hydrated and not just because it's 110 degrees outside in Dallas, but staying hydrated keeps us nimble in our brain. And it definitely keeps our metabolism going as fast as it possibly can. Um, so those are just two that I definitely have done, you know, for years and years and years. And the new ones that I'm going to be embracing, and I'm starting today on a Monday, I'm going to start doing my exercise, my, my yoga and or my walking via video every day. I've got to. I put on some weight since COVID-19. I'm feeling a little sluggish and I don't like the way I look. I've got these jowls that I never had before, before COVID-19. So new daily habits. It's a shift that we can all make. They can be baby shifts. They can be, and they ultimately will translate into big shifts. And if you need a catalyst or a book to help you kind of get in touch with that, I recommend Atomic Habits. So that's shift number three. Shift number four, energy is everything, everything. You know, our vibration is what we will attract. And vibration is nothing more than energy because we're all energy. I'm not trying to get too woo-woo, but that is how I believe. And I truly believe that what we put out, we will get back. And so we want to tap into the good stuff. We want to tap into the good stuff. So what does that mean to me? Frankly, that means the negative Nellies in my life. I've sort of distanced myself from them. I don't need negative Nellies. I need people that are going to give me a B12 shot. I need people that are going to say, way to go, Kristen. Good for you. You're staying consistent in your in your work. You're you're doing what you need to do. I need that, and I'm very fortunate that um, I see Carrie uh, Collingham is on the on the call or on the session today. I'm very fortunate that I joined a mastermind group a couple of years ago, and that group we're all very different. We have different um, career companies and objectives. But let me tell you something: that group has been so helpful to me because we meet every week. We're constantly trying to give each other good feedback and give each other a boost. And so 
what I would suggest to you is energy is everything. And if you have people in your life that are sucking it out of you, you know, they're either going to be um, people that are going to, that are going to feed you or they're going to suck from you. And so I say right now, especially, but also in the world in general, get with people that are going to be um, zappers, not sappers, right? They're going to zap you with energy and they're going to give you that B12 that you need. So you want to tap into the good stuff. Okay. The fifth mindset. And this is something that I, I'm really I'm going to try to embrace myself and I'm hopeful it will help you as well. There's an adage that um, my mama used to, again, I, I use a lot of teachings that my mother and daddy have taught me over the, before they passed away just for today. The adage is just for today. And what she meant by, by that was don't try to boil the ocean. You know, if all you can do is just for today, go walk 30 minutes. That's 30 minutes more than you did yesterday right? Just for today, drink eight glasses of water or in my case, <laughs> six 25.3 liter bottles of water. Um, just for today, do your Facebook live if that's an objective you have. Just for today, write a page in your gratitude journal. Whatever it is, if you, if you give it just a 24 hour, just for today focus, you'll be amazed at how easy that is. And then before you know it, you will have done it 365 days. And remember the old adage, it only takes 21 days to develop a habit. So my just for today, today is I am going to break a sweat. And I don't mean just because it's 110 outside. I'm going to break a sweat. I'm going to do my exercise with a video or I'm going to do my yoga class with a video. I've got to get moving again because I think it'll help me. Okay. So again, if you've just joined, my name is Kristen Kaufman. Um, I'm in the business now of helping people create the lives they want without giving up the creature comforts that they want. And every Monday morning we come together with Have a Seat with Kristen. It's paying homage to my three books entitled, Is This Seat Taken? And you have found yourself in a seat with me and other people on this call. And my whole focus on these Monday morning sessions is to offer a couple of nuggets that you can take for the week that hopefully will help you reach whatever objective or goal you have for that week. So to recap, there were five shifts. The first blanket was not a shift. It was a blanket statement, which is everything happens for a reason. It does. And it's to prepare us for what is to come. Shift number one, be intentional about your career and your life. Cast your vision. It does not happen by accident. Shift number two, identify your limiting beliefs. Look that tiger in the eye and then rewire your brain. And that is not easy. It takes a lot of effort and consistency, but I totally believe that we can do it because I am doing it. I'm doing it. Number three, new daily habits, whatever they are, centering prayer, exercising, drinking more water, you know, writing in your gratitude journal every day, doing your affirmations in the morning, whatever it is, new daily habits, atomic habits is the book that I would recommend. Number four, energy is everything. Our vibration sets the wave for everything that's going to happen to us. So we want to tap into the good stuff. If you've got zappers or sappers, I should say sappers, you need to distance yourself. I'm not saying judge them and not be their friend, but I am saying right now we have got to preserve our own energy so that we can rise to the, the rise to the level at which I know the universe wants us to. And the last one is just for today. So if all you can do is one thing today to make that shift, today is the first day. So just for today. So with that, thank you all so much for tuning in. Be safe. The weather is really strange here in Dallas. We had a horrible storm last night. So if you're traveling today or you're going to be on the road, be safe. Wash your hands. And I will look forward to seeing you all again next Monday with Have a Seat with Kristen. And um, again, if you want a, co a, um, a, a um, copy of these um, uh, shifts, just type shift in the comment section and I'll be sure to get it to you um, as soon as we get off this session. Okay, make it a great Monday and a wonderful week.